Although at first the internet may seem quite complicated and you may not understand it, it really is quite simple once you get into the basics. The internet is a wire that is buried underground. It can be beamed to phones and satellites, but is simply a wire. A server is, is a different type of computer that is connected to the internet. This allows the computers to communicate. Web pages are files on a server's hard drive. Every server has a unique IP address. These addresses help the servers find and locate each other. Your computer is not a server as it is not connected directly to the internet. Our types of computer are called clients and the way our computers connect to the internet are through an internet service provider. For now, say our computer runs on DSL and I want to get to Facebook.com. I go through my DSL, then to my ISP, to the internet and then to Facebook. If you are sending a photo, it gets sent in packets and the photo is broken up and then rearranged on your screen. If I wanted to send an email, the email for me will go from my computer to DSL to my ISP to gmail.com, from Gmail to the internet to another server, let's say AOL.com, to power lines to whoever's computer I'm sending the email to. Everything has an IP address, for example Jax is 92.12.144.104. If he wanted to update his Facebook status to say his relationship is complicated, and his dad was doing important business, they are both on the same ISP. However, they can connect to different and separate routers. This stops their documents and information getting mixed up. Remembering the packets earlier, each time your packet goes to a different website or router, another layer of code is added. On the return back to your computer, the layers are taken back off so the router knows where to send the layers next and are eventually shown on your computer screen.